I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call the exercise Charleston Chain Reaction because during the Charleston, you can set off a chain reaction based on the decisions you make pass by pass. It's a great way to test your instincts. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I'm going to say we're the dealer, so we'll get 14 tiles. Then I'm going to create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a flower, a pung of four cracks, five, six, nine in cracks, two, six, seven, nine in bams with a pair of nines, a pair of three dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would consider a consecutive run around these fours. Three, four, five, six, or even two, three, four. There's also potential for three, six, nine. Three, six, nine, and there's a nine there too, and a six. I think either would be viable. Because there's a pung of fours, I would emphasize that and start there. So for the first iteration, let's focus on consecutive run three, four, five, six, or two, three, four, five, and give up the big numbers. In the next iteration, we'll build around three, six, nine, and break up the fours. I'm gonna take a photo of the starting hand so we can recreate it. So three, four, five, six, or two, three, four, five. Here's two, three, four, second hand down in mixed suits. Let's keep these. Here we have like numbers with nines. I would break up the nine, pass the seven, and one of the sixes. Whoa, that's really risky. We have four, five, six potential though. Let's let the nine go. Even that is risky. Two, three, four, or four, five, six. Or three, four, no, we have no five. This would be a pair for that mixed suit. I think two, three, four, or four, five, six. Even if we let the six go, that's going to be equally risky. So it's the best we can do. We'll take a photo. We do have a five that is in our range, two, three, four, five. We do have a one, one through five, one through four. We have two tiles to pass. There is some two, four, six, eight potential, but we have no two crack. So I would not pass a pair. I would let something in here go. We have three, four, five now, five bam, or two, three, four. Let's let the one go. We'll take a photo of that.
Okay, we have a three and a four. Lots of consecutive tiles. Here's a white dragon. Two, three, five, three, four, four, five, six. Three, four, three, crack, four, crack, five, bam. Or two, three, four, mixed suits. We have two, three, four, five. Let's let the six go. Two, three, four, five, two, three, four, three, four, three, four. We have a gap, no three crack, but we do have the five. We, I don't know if I would pass a white dragon. I think we can let the three go. That's pretty risky though, three, six, nine. I think no matter how we slice it, it's going to be risky. So let's keep the three and let the white dragon go. We've got a six, a one, one, two, three, four, five, no five dot, one, two, three, four, five dot. Here's a six. Okay, we have one tile to pass. Two, I think two, three, four in mixed suits is the strongest. Or three, four, three, four, five. Let's let the one go and the six. We'll take a photo of that. We have a green dragon and a one again. One, two, three. I would focus here. Probably two, three, four. Second hand down. We'll take a photo. Got a flower. We have two tiles we can pass. Two, three, four. I think I would let the five crack go. Because we could still do three, four, three crack, four crack, five, bam. We'd have to throw away a pair of flowers though. We'll take a photo. flower. This is why you don't want to pass flowers. I would focus on two, three, four. Let these go. Pass. Let's see, three, four, five. I'd still keep three, four, three, four, five. Or we could do like numbers with fours. Whoa, we have joker bait and a discard. So we have three discards with joker bait. I'd say that was a success. If you don't know about joker bait, there are videos that I've made that demonstrate that strategy. It was coined by Tom Sloper of Sloperama. You keep the pair that you might not need and then in the middle game, around the middle wall, you discard one and someone maybe will make an exposure with a joker and on your next turn, you make the exchange. Here we have no gaps for the second hand down in mixed suits. Let's do this again and see if 369 has a better result. That's what we started with. Four, five, six. 
There, I was missing a nine, because we're the dealer. Now I'll recreate the Charleston. I think I forgot to take a photo of the last one, but by process of elimination, I think we got it. So, 369, 69, 39, here's a 6. We'll break those up. I think no matter how you slice this, we're going to have a risky second pass or first pass. Let's just pass these three. No keepers. So let's pass four, break up that pair, because we have, if we had everything we want, we might get stuck with a pair. Seven, one. Let's pass these. We got a keeper. I would not pass a white dragon if I didn't have to. Here's one of each suit. We got a nine and a dragon. Three, six, nine with dragons is one suit. This might help, but we'd have to throw away two pair. I think I would let it go. We got a nine and a flower. Two tiles to pass. Three, six, nine, six, nine, three. I think I would focus on the concealed hand because it uses flowers and let these go. We need a three crack in there. Single pair pung, single pair pung. Let's risk passing white dragon. We got a flower and a nine. Three nine. Three six nine. Six nine. Three nine. There was some potential for the pear hand, but with these flowers, I'd rather use them. In this case, I think I would consider passing these. That's really risky, though. I think I would pass to minimize the risk. We got a six. Three, six, nine with flowers. One suit. Second hand from the bottom or the concealed hand. I would pass two. We got the three back or the dragon. But the dragon hand, no flowers. I wouldn't keep it. So we can either play three, six, nine with flowers, in which case we have six discards, or we could play three, six, nine concealed, in which case we would have three discards and a gap. I think that there was equal potential for both consecutive run around the fours and 369. This one has a little bit of risk because of the gap, no three, but that is a single tile. So I think what I would do is play the concealed hand or the one suit hand. There's an option there. Either one of these would be viable. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder when it comes to Mahjong. Two players can see the same tiles and play different categories. And if they make the right decisions at the right time, can have equitable results. Just as in this exercise, I think that the results had equal potential, both with consecutive run and 369. Which would you have played? If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. 
between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.